the new Southwest Center for Forensic Medical Healthcare, which is run by St. Joseph's Healthcare, is slated to open its 89 beds next week. A forensic hospital, by definition, deals with patients referred by the court system for assessment. Once that assessment takes place, those individuals either go back to court and carry on in the criminal justice system, or if the court deems them unfit or NCR, they return to us and move through the forensic treatment system with us. This new hospital, with its sunlit courtyards, large windows and soaring hallways, features private rooms for patients. A big change from the 1930s era psychiatric hospital it is replacing. Currently, they live in dorms with four to six people, um, curtains separating them, very little storage room, very little personal space. They share common areas, for example, a TV with up to as many as 24 people. Um, so you can imagine the challenges that that might present. Former patient Brett Batten says a private room makes a big difference. To have a door where they would knock, you know, there was a degree of respect. They, they didn't just enter your, your space. And to have that space is important, and, and I see that here. And The other feature I think that is very different is the amount of natural light that flows into this building. And we know from the literature that natural light is a key component of healing and recovery. It's something that we don't have very much of in the old kind of darkness of the old building. The new center is built around the concept of home, neighborhood and downtown, each with more options and responsibility for the patients. An apartment featuring a bedroom, living room, kitchen and laundry facilities is used to test the patient's ability to function in the community. What this transitional apartment is going to provide us with is a real-life stage for in vivo assessment and skill training. Batten says the new center shows a rising awareness of mental health issues. You know, if I was to come into this space, I would just feel as though people cared, the community cares. Um, you know, mental health is important, and my illness is important, and obviously my rehabilitation is paramount. When, when you see this, that's, that's sort of the message that I would get. We believe that when many of these patients who are languishing in jails, waiting for a bed, actually get an inpatient bed and get the treatment that they deserve, they actually get well. And many get well quite quickly and are able to move through the system, rehabilitate and lead successful lives. For the London Free Press, I'm Mike Hansen.